So RANSAC stands for Random Sample Consensus. And it's a quite simple but highly effective algorithm that you can use if your data is affected by outliers. So whenever you work with real-world sensors, your sensor data will never be perfect. And quite often your sensor data is affected by outliers. So by data points that are not explained well by the real world. And um, RANSAC is kind of a trial and error approach that will group your data points into an inlier set and into an outlier set so that you can forget about the outliers and work with your inliers. So let me use a very small but simple example in order to illustrate how RANSAC works. Let's say we want to fit a line through 2D data points. How can we do that? So consider these are our data points. Some of those data points will lie on the line, at least approximately, but others are outliers. And how can we separate them into inliers and outliers? Okay, let's simply give it a try. And let's say we just randomly draw two of our data points and fit a line through those two points. Why two? Because two is the minimum number of points that I need in order to fit a line. So let's say I select those two points and I fit a line through those two points. And then I simply check how many of the remaining data points all the data points except the two that I have sampled, will agree with this line. In this example, this would be four data points which either lie on the line or close to the line. Okay, so perfect. This model gets a score of four. Let's repeat the process and see how we will do next time. So I again sample two data points, in this case those two. I will fit my model for them, so solve the task that I want to solve. And then score how many data points agree with this model. In this case, this would be 12. And then I repeat this process over and over again, let's say 10 times, 100 times, 1000 times, and um, then select the model which has the highest score, so which has the best support of the remaining data points. And that's my solution, which is then the inlier points, the, so the supporting points, plus the two points that I've sampled is my inlier set with the outlier set. So I can just continue working with my green points. And that's basically it. That's what RANSEC is about. So it's a simple three-step procedure. The first step is sampling. So we sample a subset of data points and we consider those data points to be inliers for this iteration. So we treat them as inliers and say all the computations that we do are based on these two points and we treat them as inliers. So the step number two, and this is a task-specific step, will take those potential inliers and will compute the model parameters or solve the tasks that we actually want to solve. And then the third step is a scoring step where we see how many of the remaining data points will support this model. And by simply counting them, I can compute the score. And then I repeat this process over and over again and in the end take the um, model that is best supported by the data, which then tells me which are the inlier points and which are the outlier points. Um, a question you may have is, how often should I actually do that? How often should I try that? Um, and that's actually something that we can compute. So if you want to succeed with probability P, let's say 99.9%, um, then this formula tells us that if you want to succeed with uh, probability P and the outlier ratio in our data points is E, so let's say 20% or 40% or 60%, and we need to sample S points in order to compute my model. So in our example, this would have been two then this formula tells you how many trials T you need in order to succeed with probability P. So RANSEC is a frequently used algorithm whenever you work with real-world sensor data. For example, to compute visual odometry, that means estimating the motion of a camera through the environment by taking into account the corresponding points in pairs of consecutive images, so that I then can compute the relative orientation of the camera just based on those correspondences. And given that this uh, approach is kind of sensitive to outliers, we need to make sure we have only inliers in order to estimate the trajectory well. And RANSEC is an approach that helps me to get rid of those outliers here.